What's going on guys? Welcome to the Offensive Team of the Year pack opening Q&A, $100. It's gonna be more than $100, just letting you know right now. Pack opening giveaway. I got 10 questions. I got 10 jumbo player premium packs. I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, jumbo player premium packs. 10 of them lined up for you right now. We got the Offensive Team of the Year out. Let's go check that out real quick. So here's the Offensive Team of the Year and it is a doozy. Jamie Benn, Tyler Sagan, Patrick Kane for the first line, Sidney Crosby, Vladimir Tarasenko, Alexander Ovechkin, Panarin, Thornton Pavelski, and then we got some of the younger guys right there, hoping to make a break into the league. Then we have Holtby, Carlson Burns, Yossi, Latang, and then some of the young guns. Anyways, we're going to try and pull these guys in the packs we have here. You guys have asked a bunch of questions in the comments section of the last video and we are going to be going through one question for each pack that we open once again if you are new to this channel i will put the top three cards that we are getting out of the packs and that is the cards that are going to be going away to the giveaway all you have to do to get your hands on those cards is put your playstation 4 username in the comment section of this video those who have submitted a question on the previous video have a much better chance at winning the cards in these packs so let's get started with the first question and the first pack did I play hockey growing up? I did play hockey. I started when I was in kindergarten. I was a goalie. I played until the end of my high school year. It was wonderful. And now we're going to go through this pack right here. We got Gostas Bear. We got Vlasic, Markov, Jimmy Hayes, Anisimov. Anisimov. We got Cam Talbot, Johnny Goudreau, McQuaid, Anton Strawman, Thomas Tatar. Not good for the first pack, but... You know, I'd rather take a little bit better luck on the following pack. So yes, I did play hockey growing up, and now that I'm out of college, I do play hockey again. So the second question is my favorite player growing up. It's kind of odd because my favorite player was Chris Osgood. Growing up a goalie, I got into watching hockey and got into watching professional hockey like intently, right as Detroit was going on their Stanley Cup runs. And obviously, my older brother was a uh, Patrick Waugh fan, so I, you know, fire and ice, I had to be a Chris Osgood fan. So Chris Osgood, my favorite player growing up. I have a bunch of his game-worn jersey cards. I even have a Detroit Red Wings Chris Osgood jersey that I had growing up. It was wonderful. I loved having it. It was a good fan base to have growing up, but I had to mature to my home team, which we will get to later in the video. A bunch of 85s right now. I'm not seeing anything too spectacular in this pack. We have... 485s, 585s in that pack. No, 685s. Pretty good. Med, 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 med. <laughs> Anywho, we're gonna have to quick sell all these guys right here. Third question: What is my favorite team? Where did I grow up? My favorite team is the Tampa Bay Lightning. As you can guess, I grew up in Tampa, Florida. I know it's weird playing hockey growing up in Florida. There's a huge market down there with something different, something that me and my brother- Oh my god, we got- Holy shit, oh my god, oh, oh, what the- Holy shit. Oh, <laughs> Yo, you guys are some lucky bastards. Let me tell you, holy shit, Patrick Kane, team of- Oh my god, guys, this- Holy hell, is this not the best editing to the team of the year? I mean, that's the card you want. I mean, yeah, there's sick there's Ovechkin and there's Sidney Crosby, but holy shit! Oh my god! Oh, it's that it's that talking about the Tampa Bay Lightning right there. That's just, <laughs> I can't even finish my sentences. Jesus, I might have to play a game or two before I give this away to you guys, but Jesus! Holy cow! Patrick Kane, team of the year. Jesus, oh my god. We're, anything else in this one? Dry Saddle, not a bad card. Wow, anything else from here is just crazy. Holy shit! 99 overall, Patrick Kane, team of the year. My god, we're gonna very carefully send that baby to the collection. Let's go, guys, come on. Holy crap, quick sell the rest. Wow, that is just unreal. Three packs in, we got a Patrick Kane team of the year. Wow, I can't beat that. Oh man. Okay, so getting back to the questions, guys. I was such a good mood right now. Hot damn. Okay, question number four. What are your hobbies other than YouTube and hockey, I guess you could say? 
My hockeys are very technical. I love mountain biking. I'm a huge mountain bike guy. Growing up in the south, I know it's not the north. I would love to go to Whistler, somewhere up north. I would love just to go to any trail. Just ride mountain bikes all day. That would be a dream. I also love flying around quadcopters, doing the electronic side of things. Uh, it's, it's a hobby of mine. I love doing it. I love stuff that keeps me active, keeps me outside, rather than sitting inside slaving away making YouTube videos. And this next pack, who cares what we get? <laughs> I mean, god dang. Holy hell. Oh my god, Cam Neely! What the shit is going on? Man, this is unreal. Kucherov, man, I hope you come back for the playoffs. We need you. Got Stamkos out right now. We got Hedman out. Oh, man, we got Schuster out. No, we don't have Schuster. We have Strowman out. Got Strowman out and Tyler Johnson momentarily out. We got a legend and a Patrick Kane. Team of the year. Good God, this is the best pack opening ever. Wow, unbelievable. Send him to the collection right now. Right now, we're going to send him to the collection. Wow. Okay, fourth pack done. We've already got two bombers, two bangers. We're sending to the giveaway right now. You guys are so, oh my god. I thought the November Steven Stamkos was going to be like the height of this year. Let me make sure I sent him. I didn't get ahead of myself. Yeah, he's gone. We're quick selling everybody else in this pack. Okay, so question number five. Why do I love NHL games? Well, I grew up with two brothers and a sister. And my brothers, we used to play NHL games all the time. Playing video games was a staple in my family. We loved playing games together, so it was just something we'd do. You know, whether it was whether it was Legend of Zelda, NHL hits, just playing any sort of N64 game growing up. That, those are the games we played. I started out, the first game I played was NHL 98. I think it was Gretzky 98, and that game, oh, I spent days on that game. That was a wonderful game. And I came back to the NHL series with NHL 14 when school kind of chilled out a little bit, quit killing me, and then I've been stuck with the uh, series since. Next pack, here we go. Not seeing anything off the bat. Mike Giordano, we're gonna save him. Good card right there. I say Mike Giordano. <laughs> Maybe it's Mark. Mark Giordano, Mike Giordano. You catch my drift. We're sending him to the collection. That is three cards right there for the giveaway. We got a full pack right now. Anything else has to beat out. Mike Giordano. Nothing else in this pack. We're going to quick sell it and give it away. And let me let me go through this. There are a lot of funny ass questions in the comment section, and I don't think those should be looked over. So the next video we'll do, I'll just answer some of those funny ones, the pressing ones that need to be answered. You'll see them in the next video, so you know what I'm talking about. But the sixth question we have here, my favorite hockey players that are not from the Tampa Bay Lightning. I love Brett Burns. I love P.K. Subban. I love P.K. Subban off the ice. P.K. Subban on ice has his own agenda. He does what he does. He has to get in the heads of other players off the ice. He's a great guy, great human being, and that's what I value. Looking at the players in the NHL, they do play with heart. And Brett Burns, man, he's just a big teddy bear. Like, how can you not love him? Chewbacca on the San Jose Sharks. They're one of the teams I want to come out of the West. Not sure how likely that is, but I'm definitely cheering for the Sharks. And this one, let's get into the pack. Hey, we can get that Brett Burns team to you here. Give a little bit of love for the Brett Burns vibe in these packs. Come on, what we got here? Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. Dry Saddle again. Yeah, I'll hold on to him. He's worth a little bit of point. I guess I should. Yeah, save the 2,000 pucks it cost me to buy some of these packs. <laughs> a lot of packs here right now. I hope you guys are appreciating the hot damn Patrick Kane team there. If that's not worth it, I don't know what is. Just fantastic. Dry Saddle, you're going to the collection. Nothing else in these packs here. I don't know if we got an 85 in that one. Okay, yeah, we got, we got Craig Smith there at the end. Saving the day with an 85. Overall, I guess Dry Saddle is an 85. What am I talking about? But the seventh question is, what do I do for a living? As I said before, I did graduate college. I went to college and graduated with a degree in mechanical engineering. Uh, as I said before, I, I love doing technical things. It was just something easy. I love math, so engineering was a, I guess, a shoe in for me since it was very easy. I, I love doing it. I love doing things. Love blowing stuff up, putting them back together, and then improving the way that they are. So that's what I do for a living. I just came out of college about six months ago, and now I do YouTube on the side. And I guess I'll get more into that on the next question. Let's open this pack. In the meantime, 
We, look at that, we broke 300k. Maybe I can buy a Stamkos with the money. Since I don't need to buy a Team of the Year now, I can finally get a Stamkos on my team. We're getting nothing in these packs. I really don't care. <laughs> we've, we've hit our pay dirt. I mean, damn. Just, oh wow. Butch pack. Butch pack. Gross. Okay, so we got three packs left. Why did I start YouTube is the question on this one. Well, as I said before, you know, I graduated college, moved away to where I live now, where I have my job, and then I found myself at, at home at night. I was like, I'm bored as hell. I guess I'll play video games and everything. And then, you know, video games was fun with friends being back from college, but I was just looking for a little bit more. And you know, like, you know what? There are all these people that I tune into on YouTube to watch their videos and be entertainment. And now I'm like, I don't think it could be that hard. I mean, it does take a hell of a lot of work, guys. Don't get me wrong. But I was like, you know what? I can take a stab at this and there'll be something for, you know, keep, keep me busy and keep me entertained at night. And then I started doing it more and more, I got the hang of it, and I really started connecting with you guys, the subscribers. I had a lot of fun with what I've been doing. It's just sort of steamrolled from here, so it's something I definitely love doing. It's something just to keep me entertained through the week and through the weekend and stuff, but now it's it's like become a part of my life. I, I look forward to doing it. I look forward to recording videos and editing them. It does take probably three times longer to edit the videos that I make, some more than others, but... That's the reason I do it. It first started off with just something to do, something to do at night and everything, get me through to the next day. But then it was I had I had a lot of fun with it, a lot more enjoyable than I thought. And you know, it's really most rewarding because of the interactions I get to have with you guys. And that will segue into the next question on the next pack. What is my most memorable part of this YouTube channel so far? But we're gonna get into this eighth jumbo player premium pack. Once again, we have bagged a team of the year, Patrick Kane, a Cam Neely. Whew, just unreal. Just unreal, I can't believe it, and we're getting nothing. That's weird how that one like spread into like a perfect H. It's very strange. Sometimes it explodes out the side, sometimes it stays tight. We got Blake Wheeler on this one. We are going to keep him. Yakupov. And that's gonna be it for this one. So I guess you got a little bit of choice, you know? We got a little bit of choice on this one. Do you want Mark Giordano or do you want Blake Wheeler? Send him to the collection. And that is going to be it for this pack. <clears throat> so question number nine comes to us as the, what is the most memorable part of your YouTube channel so far? And the most memorable part, as I said before, it was something that's, you know, given me entertainment, but more importantly, given you guys entertainment and given you guys something to watch. And for some of you, it just might be like, I'm gonna watch this kid be an idiot, rip through about, I don't know, $35 worth of packs a week. But to others, in some of the things that I've done, it's been a, it's been an escape from, I guess, reality for them. Some people, you know, have been messaged messaged me and said, you know, I've gone through dark times in my life right now, and being able to sit back and watch your YouTube videos has really given me a few minutes, maybe 10, 15 minutes of perspective on life, and you know, given me a little bit of joy here and there. And that was something that blew me away. I never expected you know, a response like that from a video. Like, I'm just being a goofball here, trying to get good cards to you guys, and I've just been blown away by, I guess, what it means to some of you guys. I mean, you know, we're here to have fun. We're here to have a good time, laugh. That's what video games is all about. That's what the community is all about. And that is, I guess, you know, what I admire the most about YouTube community in general, despite overall, whatever game it is, NHL 16, you know, it could be CSGO, it could be Call of Duty, it could be Grand Theft Auto 5, it could be anything. Just the community and overall and how they come together and I guess the little hidden gems that you can find in them here and there and just the happiness it gives to people watching them. So that was something that I knew was there, I just had never seen it firsthand. So that was something very cool to know that me, a, a lowly thousand subscriber channel, could bring happiness and joy like that to people was, some, was something so cool. It really made me take a step back from everything and just look at things and be very thankful for the position that, you know, I'm able to be in with this channel and everything, so let's not get too emotional right now. We got a ninth player jumbo player premium pack to open. Maybe they'll give us an Ovechkin or a Sidney Crosby for all the woes that I just dropped on you guys. That got a little deep. That was a little, a little too much. We got Andrew Ladd right here on the corner. We're going to keep him. Oh, let's see here. 
Justin Falk, another good 86, and that is going to be it for the ninth pack. Two players in that one. I'm so glad we got like a great team of the year because if we had just gotten a Cam Neal, I probably would have felt a little bit gypped because we haven't gotten anything over an 87 besides those two cards. Granted, it was a 99 team of the year, Patrick Kane. Holy hell, will I even be able to top that within the next three years of this? I guess we'll find out, but for the meantime, it's not in this pack. In the 10th question, is where will, you, you, where will your YouTube channel go from here? Sorry about the stutter there, guys. Uh, from here, there's really, I guess, no boundary. This is something, as I said, that I just started to, you know, waste some time, blow some time, and have, have a little bit of fun, and it has blown up in the perspective of where I thought my channel would go. So, you know, in, in the coming years, I do not see myself quitting YouTube. This is just too much fun for me. I'm having a blast doing YouTube, you know, playing games with you guys, just talking to you guys on chat. You're all awesome people. Each and every one of you are awesome. And I think that YouTube could just be a fun thing. No matter how big it grows, you know, I'll never lose sight of the content that comes first and being sure that I'm putting you guys first. Because you guys are awesome. You guys are what makes this enjoyable for me. So thank you to all you guys. This 10th Jumbo Player Premium Pack is for you guys. Hopefully EA feels the same way. And thanks you guys for all the support you guys have given me on my channel so far. Let's bust this guy right here. Get nothing. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, all that build up. Trash. <laughs> oh, gross. Gross pack. No bueno. That's awful. But thankfully, we got two gold minis we're still going to open because that's what we do on this channel. We always have two gold mini packs that we are going to open. We usually find something good in them. Skip this animation. Yikes. Nothing in that one. Quick sell all of that junk. We don't need it. One more gold premium. Come on. Open it up. Bust this baby open. Here we go. Nothing. Two gold, two gold rare, two gold rare players. That's pretty cool. You know, we're gonna open up. We're gonna open up one gold premium jumbo just because tis the season. It's not the Christmas season. You know, it might be mid mid April. Tis the season to open up a gold premium jumbo pack. That's what I'm saying on this channel. I'm gonna do what I want. We're gonna open up this pack here. Ah, uh, who's that? Who's that? Ah, uh, 78 hands. Probably no. <laughs> Yeah, we got Shen there. Alright. Yep, that's gonna do her for this channel. So we're gonna cut to the giveaway from last time. So I had to go into my inbox for this one because I already have a Taylor Hall on my team, but Taylor Hall is the person that we are going to be giving away to one of you lucky guys from the last video. So the lucky winner of this Taylor Hall and two John Scotts is Telemon 2015. Congratulations. You get the Taylor Hall and the two John Scotts and about 9,000 pucks to buy your own gold premium pack that I will get to you before the team of the year runs out so that you can get one shot at pulling one of the awesome cards that we just actually happened to pull in this video. The team of the year, Patrick Kane. And as I find my way back to my collection to show you guys the green god himself. Patrick Kane, team of the year. <laughs> oh, Jesus, it is beautiful. There's 11 of them out there, 11. And then we got Cam Neely right there. He is also in the giveaway. There's also a few other cards you can choose from in this giveaway that'll be up to you. All you have to do is look through the video and find out which one you would like to add on to the Patrick Kane, team of the year, and the Cam Neely legend card. I hope that the questions that you guys asked in this video is Makes you feel a little bit more connected to me, the man behind the mic, Pack Daddy. And I hope it helps you to uh, get a little bit more enjoyment out of the video, see where I'm coming from. Once again, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to. If I didn't answer your question on this one, it's not one of the goofy ones that I'm going to be answering in the next video, then just go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and answer all of those questions in the comment section of the previous video that you guys asked, so have no fear. But if you would like to get your hands, on this Patrick Kane, the Cam Neely, and one of the other great cards that we pulled. All you have to do is drop $100 in my bank account. Just kidding. It's a PlayStation 4 username. That is all you have to do. Put your PlayStation 4 username in the comments section below. If you put a comment question in the previous video, then you have a better chance at winning these. And I, I saw who the latest entry was. Don't try and sneak a question in there last second, hopefully, to boost your luck. I already got that dog covered. 
So, that is all you have to do. If you could, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, let all your friends know about this dirty pull that we just got here. It's unbelievable. I, I still can't believe it. I mean, I, I thought November Stamkos was crazy. I mean, it is a crazy card, don't get me wrong. The Patrick Kane team of the year, wow. First time I've ever pulled a Patrick Kane. That is something to write home to mom about, as I always say. So once again, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And good luck to all of you on winning this Patrick Kane. Until next time, guys, this is Pack Daddy. I'm out.